So Silent Spikes is actually um, a name of uh, a text, I believe, that um, looked at the history of uh, these Chinese immigrants who were working on the railroad. And I think that name was there to indicate their sort of invisibility, right? The fact that they've been sort of uh, marginalized historically, but even um, as um, laborers, they were um, thought of as second class. They weren't even citizens, right? There, there was no <laughs> uh, um, illusion that they were going to be, you know, members of this country, but like a second class inferior subjects uh, working on this massive project. The Transcontinental Railroad was an attempt to, you know, bridge both coasts um, to help, you know, colonize the West, to kind of reinforce uh, industrial interests in the West coming from the East, you know, to gain access really to Asia, right? I don't know, the spike part was really captivating to me, like this, the fact that like there is an edge to them, right? There, there is some, something sort of empowering and piercing, um, you know, perhaps individually they don't recognize that, but certainly uh, collectively uh, they demonstrated that they had um, an ability to change the situation in, in which they found themselves in. My work uh, focuses on uh, specifically the performance of, of gender within a sort of a group context, but this time kind of specifically focusing it on Asian American men or you know individuals that identify as such. And this video, I wanted to sort of look at the way in which um, Asian men, you know, perform their sort of gendered selves, um, but also using this as an opportunity to kind of reimagine what that performance might look like um, and using the, the kind of the stock figure of the cowboy as a, as a trope to kind of push back against. Well, that's something I try to do with the video, I guess, to kind of weave these two um, perhaps thematically different ideas together about one, one is about a sort of gender performance that is um, built through uh, a film and popular culture um, but that is really a kind of a, a, a lens onto how we think this country was founded and the sort of the ideals and values that have been sort of propagated for most of its existence. And then contrasting that with an actual history of male laborers coming together and enacting a sort of resistance to a kind of hege hegemonic sort of capitalist system that they were working under, right? Building the building of the of the railroads. I, th I think so many of the ideas in which we understand the the cowboy th as a mythological figure comes from pop culture in the Western. And even though those films may not be you know as present um, today as they once were, I think those kinds of stories that elevate this the sort of rugged individualistic. Um, archetype for male performance still exists in a number of different ways. And I wanted to sort of use the Asian figure um, to complicate that, that character in some way. Um, and so I use this exhibition as an opportunity to complicate that history and perhaps our relationship to those images.